Hi, I'm Sam Thurgan, and welcome to my two minutes parasha. In this week's Sidra of Emor, the Midrash says that this word Emor refers to the Imrot Hashem, the sayings of Hashem, Imrot Tohorot, which are sayings of purity. And the Midrash continues that in the times of David Amelech of King David, there was such a great level of Torah education amongst the Jewish people that you could ask a school child to analyze a certain complex halachic issue, and they could tell you 49 ways in which to justify impurity and 49 ways in which to justify purity. In other words, you could present them with something and they would give you 49 reasons why it's not kosher, 49 reasons why it's why it is kosher. In other words, a very complicated Torah analysis was all within them. They were at the level to do such a thing. Now, the Sfat Emet, Rabbi Yudalab Altar of the uh, Gera Rebbe, says that the idea here is that within the eyes of Torah, we are able to reach the hidden depth of every matter. On a surface level, maybe it would be apparent to you that such a thing is kosher or non-kosher, but once you have explored it with the eyes of Torah, you can understand it in a deeper and deeper way, and specifically, he says, with a focus to realizing its purity. In other words, everything in the world has aspects of purity and aspects of impurity. How is it that you get to see the aspect of purity? After all, everything in the world was created by the pure one, by Hashem, and therefore everything in the world contains purity within it. However, very often that purity is inaccessible, is locked away, is perhaps behind 49 levels of impurity before you even get to the first level of purity. For that, he says, you need the Torah, the Imrot Hashem Torot, the pure sayings of Hashem, the pure words of Torah. Through integrating Torah into ourselves, through studying Torah and through viewing the world with the eyes of Torah, we are able to see beyond the veil, beyond the shells, beyond what's known as the klipa, the covering of impurity, and able to see the true purity that lies within. But we are only able to do that properly if we approach it with Torah so that we will not be confused and think that the impure is really pure, that we will not disregard it as being something impure, we will not be all too quick to say, I've realized the purity, that's why we really need to invest ourselves within the purity of Torah. And it is a cycle, a virtuous cycle, because the more Torah we get, the more we ourselves are purified. And the more purity we have within ourselves, the more we are able to understand and connect to the Torah of purity. So I wish you all a pure Shabbat Shalom.